Okay, so today we're going to be going over inverse trig functions. And you can see them written as, uh, for example, we're going to do sine in this first problem. You can see it written as arc sine, or you can see it written as um, sine and then with like a negative one exponent. Uh, they mean the same thing. Whichever one you use is kind of, it's, it's really just preference. It doesn't matter. They both mean the same thing. So let's go ahead and do some derivatives of inverse trig functions. So y equals sine inverse sine of 3x. Now, inverse trig functions, their derivatives are really tricky. Um, but essentially, it is just a formula you plug it into. So the formula you use for arc sine is as follows. dy dx equals 1 over the square root. Oh, let me redo that square root. 1 over the square root of 1 minus. And then whatever whatever is on the inside of your inverse sine. So it's an inverse 3x. It's going to be a 3x down here. And that quantity is squared. I'm just going to underline the 3x here in green so that we know this is where it came from. And then we take the derivative of 3x, multiply it by the whole thing. Not 3x, derivative of 3x is just 3. And so that leaves our final answer to be dy dx is equal to 3 over square root of 1. So let's redo that 1 of 1 minus 9x squared. Okay, and that's the final answer for this one. Next problem, a little bit trickier. Y is equal to arctangent of x cubed. So again, you can rewrite arctan as tan to the negative 1. And it means the same thing as arctangent, x cubed. Now, sine had a little formula. Tangent also has a formula. All six of the trig functions actually have formulas. So let's just go ahead and do the tangent one. And the tangent formula is as follows. 1 over 1 plus. And then whatever you have inside your inverse tangent. So in this case, it's x cubed. So we're going to have x cubed inside the parentheses. And then that quantity is going to be squared. So I'll underline the x cubed here just so we know that's where it came from. It came from up here. And then we multiply the whole thing by the derivative of uh, the inside of the function. And, and you do this because of the chain rule, of course. So times 3x squared. Um, and then simplify dy dx is equal to 3x squared over 1 plus. And then remember when you um, when you have an exponent to an exponent, you multiply them. So it's going to be x to the 6th. And that's our final answer for this problem. Okay. Uh, last problem is going to get a little bit messier. We're going to have y equals e to the x times inverse secant to the x squared. Okay, so um, we can rewrite arc secant as just secant negative 1 x squared. So since we have, a, we have two functions here, we have an ex and we have a secant, inverse secant. That means we're going to have to do a product rule. So first we do the derivative of, of e to the x. e to the x is just e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And then multiply by the blue function as is. So the blue function stays the same. Now plus. 
Now this time we do the green the green function as is, and then we take the derivative of the blue function. And so in order to take the derivative of the blue function, we need the formula for inverse secant derivative. So this will be multiplied by, and I'll give you the inverse secant formula right now. It's one over the square root uh, one minus one over and then whatever quantity is inside of the secant the inverse secant so here we have x squared so we're going to do one over x squared and that quantity is going to be squared let's all underline it here so we know where it came from and then this whole square root is going to be multiplied by x squared squared. So again, whatever's inside of the arc secant is going to be squared. And then this problem is x squared. Okay. So now at this point, um, we need to finish doing the chain rule of the secant derivative. So this is the derivative of secant here. But now we need to do complete the chain rule and do the derivative of x squared. And that's just going to be 2x. Okay, so this is a really long and messy derivative, so let's see if we can simplify. Oh, this would be dy dx. We did take the derivative. dy dx equal to e to the x secant x squared plus 2x e to the x all over x to the fourth times the square root of 1 minus 1 over x to the fourth. And uh, there's an x here. We can cancel off with that, and that becomes x cubed. Let's rewrite it, and that will be our final answer. dy dx is equal to e to the x times inverse secant x squared plus 2 times e to the x all over x cubed times the square root of 1 minus 1 over x to the fourth power. Let's rewrite that fourth power so it looks a little cleaner. Uh, x to the fourth power. There we go. And that is our final answer.